Good morning. The hymn this morning is number 716, 716. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. I wish I praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Well did our end. Amen. Let us adore the Lord, for it is he who made us. Come, bring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saved us. Let us come before him, giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. Let us adore, adore the, Lord, the Lord, for it is he who made us. The mighty God is the Lord, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shed by his hands. Let, let us adore, adore the, the Lord, Lord, for it is he who made us. us. Come in, let us bow and bend low, let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Let us adore, adore the, the Lord, Lord, for it is he who made us. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Let us adore the, the Lord, Lord, for it is he who made us. us. For forty years I was weary of these people, and I said, Your hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. And I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Let us adore, adore the Lord, the Lord for it is he who made us. us. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us, us adore, adore the, the Lord, Lord, for it is he who made us. us. In 716, let all the world in every corner sing, My, My God, God and King, King the, the heavens are not too high, God's praise made it of high. The earth is not too low. God's praises there may grow. Let all the world in every corner sing. My God and King. Let all the world in every corner sing. My God and King. The church with psalms must shout. No door can keep them out. But above all the heart must bear the best on the spot. Let, Let all, all the world in every corner sing, my God and King. In your light, Lord, we see light. Sin speaks to the sinner in the depths of his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He so flutters himself in his mind that he knows not his guilt. In his mouth are mischief and deceit. All wisdom is gone. He plots the defeat of goodness as he lies on his bed. He has set his foot on evil ways. He clings to what is evil. Your love, Lord, reaches to heaven. Your trip to the skies. Your strength is like God's mountain. Your judgment is like the deep. To both man and beast you give protection. O oh Lord, how precious is your love. My God, the sons of men, find refuge in the shelter of your wings. They feast on the riches of your house. They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you, doing justice for upright hearts. Let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how the evil doers fall, flung down they shall never arise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. In your in light, light, God, we, we see, see light. light. Lord, you are great, you are glorious, glorious you are wonderfully wonderful strong. strong. Begin a song to my God with tambourines. Sing to my Lord with cymbals. Raise to him a new psalm, exalt him and call upon his name. For God is the Lord who crushes wars. I'll sing to my God a new song. O Lord, you are great and glorious, wonderful in strength, invincible. 
Let all your creatures serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent forth your spirit and it formed him. There is none that can resist your voice. For the mountains shall be shaken to their foundations. Waters, at your presence the rocks shall not let the wax. But to those who fear you, you will continue to show mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, you are great, you are glorious, you are wonderfully strong. Cry to God with shouts of joy. All peoples clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord the Most High we must fear, great King over all the earth. He subdues people under us and nations under our feet. Our inheritance are glories from him, giving to Jacob out of love. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord ascends with trumpet blasts. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is King of the nations. God reigns on his holy throne. The princes of the peoples are assembled with the people of Abraham's God. The rulers of the earth belong to God, to God who reigns over all. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, oh my. Cry to Cry God, to God with shouts of joy. A reading from the book of Tobit. Do to no one what you would not want done to you. Give your bread to those who are hungry and your clothes to those who are naked. Ask advice of every wise person. Bless the Lord God in everything. Beg him to guide your ways and bring your paths and purposes to their end. Bend my heart to your will, O God. Bend my heart to your will, O God. By your word give me life. Bend my heart to your will, O God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Bend my heart to your will, O God. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Remember, Remember your, your holy covenant. covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those who are his prophets from of old. O Saviour, would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He sought Abraham our father to grant us, that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice, all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, true forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Show, Show us your, your mercy, mercy O Lord. God. Remember, Remember your, your holy, holy covenant. covenant. We give thanks to Christ, and we praise him, because he was not ashamed to call us his brothers and sisters. Lord Jesus, we are your brothers. Help us to live the new life of Easter, so that mankind may know through us the power of your love. Lord Jesus, we are your brothers. Every day is a proof of your love. As you bring us to this new day, make us new in mind and heart. Lord Jesus, we are your brothers. Teach us to see you present in all mankind. Help us to recognize you most of all in those who suffer. Lord Jesus, we are your brothers. 
May our lives today be filled with your compassion. Give us the spirit of forgiveness and a generous heart. Lord Jesus, we are your brothers. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily, daily bread. bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God, our Saviour, <laughs> through the grace of baptism, you made us children of light. Hear our prayer that we may always walk in that light and work for truth as your witnesses before mankind. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safely today and all the days of our lives. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for priests. Eternal Father, Father we, thank we thank you for every priest who has safely given his life for the salvation of his brothers and sisters. And sisters. We, we give thanks for those priests who have brought, brought us to your truth. word of truth. The grace, the grace of the sacraments, and above, and above all, all the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the apostles to follow him, we ask you to raise up new and generous vocation to the priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call and enable them not to be afraid, but to recognize the joy and give them their whole lives in love. Through Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, your Son, our Lord, our Lord who Holy lives Son and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for May Leach, and we celebrate the memorial of St. Cecilia. St. Cecilia lived around the third century. Little is known about her life. Popular legends were written about her in the late fifth a century, and in the 16th century she was named the patron of music. Tradition remembers Cecilia as a virgin martyred for her faith. Her name is included in the Eucharistic prayer number one of the Roman canon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of your handmaid, St. Cecilia, grant to pray that what has been devoutly handed down concerning her may offer us examples to imitate and proclaim the wonders worked in uh, his servants by Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. second book of Maccabees. There were seven brothers who were arrested with their mother. The king tried to force them to taste pig's flesh, which the law forbids, by torturing them with whips and scourges. The mother was especially admirable and worthy of honorable remembrance, for she watched the death of seven sons in the course of a single day and endured it resonantly because of her hopes in the Lord. Indeed, she encouraged each of them in the language of their ancestors. Filled with noble conviction, she reinforced, reinforced her womanly argument with manly courage, saying to them, I do not know how you appeared in my womb. It was not I who endowed you with breath and life. I had not the shaping of your every part. It is the creator of the world, ordaining the process of man's birth and presiding over the origin of all things, who in his mercy will most surely give you back both breath and life, seeing that you now despise your own existence for the sake of his laws. Antichorus thought he was being ridiculed suspected insult in the tone of her voice. And as the youngest was still alive, he appealed to him, not with mere words, but with promises on oath to make him both rich and happy if he would abandon the tra traditions of his ancestors. He would make him his friend and entrust him with public office. The young man took no notice at all. And so the king then appealed to the mother, urging her to advise the youth to save his life. After a great deal of urging on his part, she agreed to try persuasion on her son. Bending over him, she fooled the cruel tyrant with these words, uttered in the language of their ancestors. My son, have pity on me, I carried you nine months in my womb and suckled you three years, fed you and reared you to the age you are now and cherished you. I implore you, my child, observe heaven and earth, consider all that is in them, and acknowledge that God made them out of what did not exist and that mankind comes into being in the same way. Do not fear this executioner, but prove yourself worthy of your brothers and make death welcome, so that in the day of mercy, I may receive you back in your brother's company. She had scarcely ended when the young man said, what are you all waiting for? I will not comply with the king's ordinance. I obey the ordinance of the law given to our ancestors through Moses. As for you, sir, who have contrived every kind of evil against the Hebrews, 
you will certainly not escape the hands of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will be filled when I awake with the sight of your glory, O Lord. I shall be filled when I awake with the sight of your glory, O Lord. Lord, Lord, hear a cause that is just. They hear to my cry. Turn your ear to my prayer. No deceit is in on my lips. I shall be filled when I awake with the sight of your glory, O Lord. I kept my feet firmly in your paths. There was no faltering in my steps. I am here and I call. You will hear me, O God. I shall Turn be. your ear to me, hear my words. I, I shall, shall be filled when I awake with the sight of your glory, O Lord. Guard me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. As for me in my justice, I shall see your face and be filled when I awake with the sight of your glory. I, I shall, shall be, be filled, filled when I awake with the sight of your glory, O Lord. Let us stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. When anyone obeys what Christ has said, God's love comes to perfection in him. Alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While the people were listening, Jesus went on to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem and they imagined that the kingdom of God was going to show itself then and there. Accordingly, he said, a man of noble birth went to a distant country to be appointed king and afterwards returned. He summoned ten of his servants and gave them ten pounds. Do business with these, he told them, until I get back. But his compatriots detested him and sent a delegation to follow him with this message. We do not want this man to be our king. Now on his return, having received his appointment as king, he sent for those servants to whom he had given the money to find out what profit each had made. The first came in and said, Sir, your one pound has brought in ten. Well done, my good servant, he replied. Since you have proved yourself faithful in a very small thing, you shall have the government of ten cities. Then came the second and said, Sir, your one pound has made five. To this one also he said, And you shall be in charge of five cities. Next came the other and said, Sir, here is your pound. I put it away safely in a piece of linen because I was afraid of you, for you are an exacting man. You pick up what you have not put down and reap what you have not sown. You wicked servant, he said, out of your own mouth I condemn you. So you knew I was an exacting man, picking up what I have not put down and reaping what I have not sown. Then why did you not put my money in the bank? On my return I could have drawn it out with interest. And he said to those standing by, take the pound from him and give it to the man who has ten pounds. And they said to him, but sir, he has ten pounds. I tell you, to everyone who has will be given more. But from the man who has not, even what he has will be taken away. But as for my enemies who did not want me to be their king, bring them here and execute them in my presence. When he had said this, he went on ahead going up to Jerusalem, the Gospel of the Lord. (coughs) Today's Gospel gives St. Luke's version of the story of the talents which we heard on Sunday from Matthew's Gospel. I have, uh, you have often pondered the king's final admonition. I tell you to everyone who has will be given more, but from the man who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The older you get, the more it starts to become clearer 
when read through the perspective of faith, rather than making God sound kind of mean in his giving and taking, you suspect we are being invited to read this passage through our own faith experience. As you grow in trust of God and give all you have to God, or try to, you are filled with more and more grace. God is always waiting to bless us abundantly as we open ourselves and give more of ourselves to God. The invitation to receive God's bounty is there. The response is up to us. Let us pray, Heavenly Father, your Son faced the days of his destiny with quiet bravery. Grant us your grace to face each day of our lives with the same bravery and dignity to serve you well. Lord, hear us. We ask our Lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. As we joyfully offer, O oh God, this day's sacrifice, recalling the heaven sent victory of Blessed Cecilia, we proclaim by it your mighty deeds and rejoice at having gained her glorious intercession through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. In their intercession, show support, so that encountered by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and all and archangels, and with the great multitude of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to request eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
body of Christ. Amen. 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 Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. 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 Amen. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on Blessed Cecilia a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virgin and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended.